right, everybody, I now have the privilege of introducing a future TEDx speaker. She's nine years old. Her name is Amara Cruz, and let me tell you what she does. She's a pretty cool young lady. So, she has gotten into meditation, and she actually does this cool, like, impro improvisational meditation, and we are going to bring her to the stage now to show you her magic. Amara, why don't you come on up here? Take the stage, young lady. All right, so um, basically, you're prompted with a few words, and so you can improv this meditation, is that right? Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got involved in that? Um, well, I was basically just thinking I need something to do because, you know, I have homework and this, but then every day after I do that, I had nothing to do. So I was thinking whenever someone would come over, I could just ask them, hey, do you want to do meditation with me? And they'd, they'd say yes or no. And someone I like to call Auntie Gazel, one time I was doing a meditation with her, and she said that I was so good that I had a gift. And my, I was talking to my mom about it, and then eventually she just said, you're going to be leading your meditation. So... Super cool. Well, adults have that problem too. You know, we get bored and like need to figure out what to do. Maybe some of us could use meditation. Um, and I think you're going to teach us something today. So basically, um, you know, we have not spoken before this about what, which words we are going to be uh, giving Amara as prompts. So this is completely improv, right, Amara? Yeah. All right. So the three words that you're going to use today are going to be kindness, water, and love. Can you take it away, young lady? All right. So close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now picture this. You're in a garden. Water flowing out of a little pond with a tiny little mini waterfall and there's this big very thick willow tree it's covering the whole garden and you want to know why it's there because it was probably planted before well everything else so you ask your mom and she says when i was younger I wanted to make a garden, and every time I felt so happy, so happy, or so full of love or joy or anything like that, and I can't express it, I would plant something. I had a passion, passion for planting. So she painted. So then, and I was at a carnival one day, you know, I was super happy. But I found a penny, and I washed it off in the washroom there. And I was like, yes, great luck, woohoo!" But then I lost it. I dropped it. And I got, but, but later, I was walking by just a little younger, little girl. And she had a penny in her hair that looked exactly like mine. And I said, hey, that, that might be my penny. She said, well, I found it, and I was looking to give it to someone. I thought, such kind words. So she gave it to me, and I said, thank you for all your kindness, you know? And then, my mo and then she went, she planted the tree, and she said, let it grow, for all its branches will represent one kindness that each person does. One kindness that each person has, that each person will make. And, well, that's it. <laughs> Bye.